Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe Illustrator tutorial. In this one we're going to take a look at Illustrator and we're going to take a look at polygons. We're going to work with polygons. I'm going to show you how to adjust the number of shapes. Well, not really number of shapes, but number of size actually to be more accurate. Uh, inside your polygon, so from like a triangle all the way up to like a, I don't know what the hell they're called, uh, octangle, <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to show you how to adjust the uh, curvature inside uh, and I'm going to show you how to do a couple cool things. So let's just get right into this. The first one is you just want to head over here to your polygon tool. Click on that. Left click on it. Notice your, if it's not already preset, you need to hold down or do a long click on it because there's no uh, letter associated with the polygon tool. The next, you just want to go right into any old blank canvas and then just click on it and then just drag out a shape. I'm going to drag out a triangle, something like this and presto and let's just move that into the middle here somewhere now here's what I'm gonna show you here's a couple things and you know what uh, this is really ugly because I want to <laughs> I want to yeah this is what I want I want it upright like this so the first thing I'll show you is right how to change the number of sides in your polygon uh, this is after you've done it uh, before I do that actually let me show you another option I'm just gonna go I'm gonna hold this down and then I'm going to push up, and you're going to notice that's four sides, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, etc. And then when I push the down arrow, it goes back to triangle. So that's before I've let go. Now, that's one way to do it, and that's probably the best way. But let's say you've already built your uh, polygon of some sort, like this one here. It's a triangle. Click on it, and you want to increase the number of sides. Even though you've already built it, not to worry. There's a way to do it. What you want to do here is you want to look for this little plus minus over here and then what you do is you want to drag it and as you drag it you're gonna see that it's counting the number of sides it's now a square now it's got five sides whatever the hell that is deck deck uh, whatever I don't even know octangle something 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 and as I pull that down more and more sides appear awesome now we're still working with uh, the polygons here I'm going to show you a couple of other things while I got you uh, right here inside the polygon you're gonna see that I've got when I hover over this and I've got my direct my selection tool part of me uh, selected if I pull down on one of these little on this one here you're gonna notice that I'm starting to change the 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 inside see what's happening here it's turned it into a circle I'm gonna hit command uh, Z but you'll see that as you do it and as you look very very carefully it starts to change the inner angles so you can actually sort of change things just like that. And there you go, we got this cool little, um, well, weird looking, that'd be kind of cool for like an alien face or something. Anyways, but if I click on this one here and it's a little bit more pronounced than a triangle, I pull that down and all of a sudden, you know what, we've got the beginning of one of those hazardous signs. I'll Command Z out of that or Control Z if you're on a, on a PC, Command Z if you're on a Mac. Um, so that's another thing that you can do here. And let's just say you want to manipulate only the inside of the top here but you don't want the bottom left and the bottom right what you want to do is you want to go to the direct selection tool and then click on this here and then you're gonna see that there's a little circle and I can't really show you because it's already there but you'll see the circle underneath the little uh, bendy line I guess that's the technical term if you have the circle showing and you pull down you're going to notice that I'm only working on the top piece here. I'm not working on the bottom two. They're disconnected when the circle's showing. So in this case, you know, I've got this cool looking, well, I don't even know what the hell that would be, but, you know, that's the beginning of like a, of some sort of face, and maybe I'll pull this one in a bit. Oh, no, cancel that. Click on it, then pull it in, to pull that one in a bit, and click on it, pull that one in a bit. And yeah, we've got the beginning of some sort of friggin' alien head or something, but... Joking aside, guys, this is how you work with polygons. If you have any questions or if there's anything that you need an answer to, let me know, and I'll help you out. Thanks for watching the tutorial. Cheers. Bye-bye.